What's going on everybody? Liam O'Reilly, Vermont Economic Realtor. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to talk today about what would happen if the Federal Reserve started to sell mortgage-backed securities. Right now, the Federal Reserve is in the process of reducing the size of its balance sheet, but it hasn't really started to sell mortgage-backed securities, uh, at least not yet. And and it's in the cards, it's something that they've talked about, but it's not something that we've seen before. So what will happen if they decide to do that? So. Uh, We'll, we'll get right into it here, but first, if you don't know what a mortgage-backed security is, basically it's a grouping of mortgages that's sold on the secondary market. It's mentioned in, in movies like The Big Short. So what they do is they take, when you get a loan for your home, you know they you go through all this underwriting, they make sure that you, are, you fall into the guidelines um, as a borrower, and really verify to the secondary market that you are well qualified and, and essentially can pay your, your mortgage. After they generate your loan, give you the money for the property, the note that you're going to pay back gets bundled with other loans and sold on the secondary market uh, into what's called a mortgage-backed security. So let's get right into this chart of mortgage-backed securities. Um, this is assets, securities held outright, mortgage-backed securities Wednesday Wednesday level is what the title is. Um, so it's a weekly chart of the amount of mortgage-backed securities held by the Federal Reserve. You can see here, there were none held before 2008, then the Great Recession happens. 2009, the Federal Reserve starts buying mortgage-backed securities. What does this do? This gives confidence to, this keeps the housing market going, right? These investors who were purchasing mortgage-backed securities around this time were scared because housing was crashing everywhere. People, there were foreclosures everywhere. And people didn't want to hold notes of uh, for homes that weren't going to be repaid. So the Federal Reserve stepped in, started buying mortgage-backed securities. You can see they reduced the size of their balance sheet. Coming into 2012, started buying again in the mid-2010s. And towards the end of the 2010s, they started reducing the size of their balance sheet. And then COVID hit, they started buying all over the place. And this is important when we talk about how, why mortgage rates were so low in 2020, part of the reason is that the Federal Reserve doesn't care about the return it's getting on mortgages, but the investor does. So the investor is taking a risk. You know, there's a risk that you're going to default on your loan, that you're not going to pay it back. And uh, the, the interest that you pay on your loan is the premium that the investor earns by taking the risk and giving you the money for 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 your mortgage. Uh, the Federal Reserve doesn't care about the return on investment that it gets. So they can buy up these mortgage-backed securities for a low interest rate and not worry about not worry about not having the investor there on the secondary market to, to purchase that product. So quick overview of where we're at with the Federal Reserve's balance sheet and mortgage-backed securities. Now, this is the New York Fed website. There's a lot of great information on here. This talks about, this is the page talking about their plan to purchase mortgage-backed securities and their plan to run off the balance sheet. Now, when I first heard that the Federal Reserve was let, running off their balance sheet, I thought they were done purchasing mortgage-backed securities, but that's not necessarily what they're doing. What they're doing is they're trying to reduce the size of their balance sheet by a specific amount every month. And so they look at how many mortgages are being repaid, uh, how many mortgages are, are coming to fru fruition, right, are getting paid off completely. And then if there are, um, you know, if principal is getting paid too much and the size of their mortgage-backed securities are reducing faster than they want, then they can buy mortgage-backed securities. Or if it's reducing too slow, they can sell mortgage-backed securities, which is something they haven't done since since they started buying them. And I can, I can prove that through this link right here. So what this is, is agency MBS historical operations result and planned operation amounts. So if we scroll down here, we see everything that the Federal Reserve was planning on doing or, or has done and is planning on doing currently as far as the purchase and sale of mortgage-backed securities. Now, if you go through all of these, which, which I did quickly through this little search bar because the wording on all of these operations are the same. So it says here, the desk on October 17th to November 14th, the desk, which is the, the 
institution or the, the system that they set up to purchase mortgage-backed securities does not have any agency MBS outright operations scheduled over the monthly period. And then right here, November 15th through December 13th, the desk plans to conduct approximately $150 million in small value sale operations over the noted monthly period. Now, if we do a quick search on this page, I searched for the word not because these are all worded the same. These are the only three times since 2011 that the Federal Reserve did not buy any mortgage-backed securities. And same thing with sale. This is the only time, besides up here in the... the comment section that the desk has sold any amount of mortgage-backed securities. So since 20, and this, this page goes all the way back to 2011. Scroll down so you guys can see it here. So since the Federal Reserve started buying mortgage-backed securities in 2011, I guess one more thing here, this is effective on a, from October 14th and they were limited. I don't know exactly where it is on the sheet, but I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can go through this yourself. They are limited to, as of October 14th, either purchasing or selling only $150 million worth of mortgage-backed securities. Now, that's much smaller than they've bought in the past. So if we go back here, I'm just, I'm just trying to give you folks a background of where we're at and what the Federal Reserve is doing so we can help so we can discuss and try to predict what would happen if they start to sell, which which they might because the housing market is still hot across the country. The jobs report came in hot. Um, so that's some selling mortgage-backed securities is something the Federal Reserve might do. Now, if we look here, so this is November 15th, 2021 to December 13th, 2021, right? When interest rates were extremely low. So I'm getting a call here. I'm going to decline that. When interest rates were extremely low, mortgage rates, the desk will purchase approximately $96.4 billion in purchase operations. So, you know, $96 billion, $106 billion in October 15th, $107 billion. You know, that was pretty normal. Even if we go back, so 2018, so look at what was happening to the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, the mortgage-backed securities. So in 2018, when they were reducing the size of their mortgage-backed securities on their balance sheet, they were purchasing, still buying, $300 million worth of mortgage-backed securities. $300 million, $300 million, $300 million, $280 million. And that was reducing the size of their balance sheet. Then when they were pumping it up here in 2020 and 2021, they're purchasing $96 billion, just so many mortgage-backed securities. So $2 billion. This was kind of the start of the pandemic. Yeah, the... Desk plans to purchase the amount needed for a functioning uh, market. This was during the shutdowns and during COVID. And then boom, 96 million, 109 million, 110 million. So what, where we're really at right now is an unprecedented time in with mortgage-backed securities. And the Federal Reserve reducing their balance sheet is, is something that they've done before. And it's not something that they've been able to to continue to do, as you saw by that chart, they started to reduce it a couple times, and then it always spiked back up, and they always injected more fuel into the fire by purchasing more mortgage-backed securities that can keep interest rates low. But the thing is, the mortgage market, not the mortgage market, the housing market is still very hot, and especially in places like Vermont, there's a lot of transactions going on, there's a lot of buyers out there, and the Federal Reserve uh, can influence the mortgage market in two ways. They're trying to influence it by hiking the Fed funds rate. But if that's not as effective as they want it to be, they can sell mortgage-backed securities, which is not something they've done in the past. We don't know what would happen if they did it. But if we think about this, so the Federal Reserve can sell mortgage-backed securities and they're not worried about making a profit, right? The Federal Reserve their job is not to make a profit. So potentially, they could sell these mortgage-backed securities for less than they paid for. Similar to U.S. Treasuries, right? The lower the price, the higher the yield. The higher the price, the lower the yield. So they could sell these mortgage-backed securities for a lower price than what they bought them for, because which is what they need to do, because a lot of these mortgage-backed securities are rates in the threes, fours, five percents, where right now rates are in the six, six and a half percent. So why would an investor buy a mortgage-backed security 
that has an interest rate in the 5% or 3% range when they can get something new on the market for 6, 6.5%. And the reason they would do that is because the price is cheaper on that asset. So essentially, if you think about it in terms of a single home, you hold a note on a single home that's worth $400,000 or that the mortgage was originated for $400,000. Now you the Federal Reserve sells that mortgage for $300,000 at a 3% rate, there's already the pr the principal is going to get paid back on the $400,000 note that is out there. So, if the Federal Reserve starts doing that and starts making selling their mortgage-backed securities at a attractive price for investors, that could start to freeze up the secondary mortgage market, the the investors purchasing new mortgage-backed securities as they're being brought to the market, which would cause interest rates to spike, right? Unless the Federal, like if the Federal Reserve can take a loss on their, their rates and, or on the mortgage-backed securities and make things attractive for investors on the secondary market, then investors are going to need a better return from home buyers and new mortgage-backed securities being issued. And the return they're getting is the interest rate that you are paying as a home buyer. So if the Federal Reserve sees the that the housing market is starting to get out of control again and things are going crazy or they feel like the economy is still too hot and they want to slow down the mortgage market even more, they might start selling off mortgage-backed securities, which could increase interest rates again for borrowers, for borrowers even without raising the Fed funds rate. And this is something that I, at least Personally, I don't see being talked about much in, in mainstream media as the, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. But this is an important factor to consider when, when we are looking at the future and what could happen. Now, I don't think this is something that they're going to do drastically. And the Federal Reserve wants a functioning mortgage market because housing makes up such a large percentage of our economy. And, you know, we, we need new housing across the country. So... You know, an, an unstable mortgage market, in my opinion, is not good for housing. It's not good for the U.S. public, the U.S. population, or or the U.S. economy. But if the Federal Reserve views inflation as too big of a threat and they don't think that their interest rate hikes are doing enough, they could continue to reduce their balance sheet at a faster rate, potentially sell mortgage-backed securities, which could cause the Fed, which could cause mortgage rates specifically to increase without impacting other parts of the economy that aren't housing related. Now, housing is a big part of the economy. There's a lot of jobs tied to that. But for instance, you could you could raise mortgage rates without raising rates on business loans, for instance. So anyway, Liam Morali, Vermont Economic Realtor. Let me know what you think. I am I'm speculating a lot in this video. I'm I'm kind of predicting what what could happen because this selling the Federal Reserve selling mortgage-backed securities is something that we really haven't seen before. So uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the description if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, uh, where you think the Federal Federal Reserve is going. Do you think they're going to sell their rates or uh, sell their securities or not? Um, also, all my contact information is listed in the description. If you are interested in buying or selling a home here in Vermont, I would be happy to help you. If you're in the housing market in another part of the country, please reach out to me. I will find you a great agent who will take good care of you, get you top dollar so you're not stuck with somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, which is increasingly common these days amongst real estate agents. Um, anyway, Lee Morale, Vermont Economic Realtor. I'll see you in the next video.